there, guys. Today, Nigerian Supreme Court decide who actually won the presidential election that took place on February 25th. 2023, which was conducted by the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoudi Yakubo. As majority of Nigerians are still saying, he's the same story. We are not surprised. And what they are going to tell us today is not going to be shocked because we have already known the outcome of this election. In fact, Nigerians, they talk, say, the court, the Apis court, they don't already they do rule. Talking about President Bola Metinobu's Chicago State University forged certificate, they said the courts do not want to even look to that side and all that. Majority of Nigerians did already lose hope. They said nothing they happen. Well, make we even here waiting the Venturing Atok and the Labour Party leader Kenneth Okonkwo have to say. He has shared a cryptic message in anticipation of the Supreme Court's impending decision on the 2023 Nigerian presidential election. The Supreme Court is set to deliver its final judgment today, Thursday, October 26, consigning petitions from Atiku Abubakar, the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate, and the Peter will be of the Labour Party. Contexting the victory of President Bola Tinubu. Tinubu from all the Tinubu from the All Progressive Congress, APC, was declared the winner by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and also had his victory affirmed by the Presidential Election Petition Court. Nevertheless, Atiku and Obi have sought redress in the Supreme Court. Kenneth Okonkwo expressing a lack of confidence in the judiciary shared a video featuring lawyer Ulisse Agbakoba San, who criticized recent Supreme Court pronouncement and conveyed his trust in God as he looked ahead to the Supreme Court judgment scheduled for October 26, 2023. So guys, you you can see now. You see, Nigerians are not even talking about this. You understand? Because they've already know what is going to happen. And this is really very dangerous. So, if in a country, the citizens do not trust the judiciary system, it's a problem. If the, in a country, the citizens do not trust the government, it's a problem. It's a very big problem. You understand? It seems that the judiciary system, you know, have lost its, its taste. You understand? With the way the whole thing, you know, just go in. Well, let's see how this goes. Let's just, let just uh, keep our fingers across and see what this will actually uh, uh, produce. Are they still going to, you know, treat Nigerians the way the presidential election petition tribunal did? Well, Nigerians are waiting, waiting, eagerly waiting to see the end of this. But I'm telling you, it's not really, you know, shocking anybody anymore. Well, the Labour Party on Wednesday expressed confidence that the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, will be favored by the judgment of the Supreme Court on Thursday, which is today. The Supreme Court fixed Thursday to deliver the judgment it reserved on the two appeals that are seeking to nullify the election of President Bola Tinubu. Atiku and Obi are challenging the declaration by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, that President Bola Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress, APC, was a valid winner of the presidential election held on February 25th. Speaking ahead of the court judgment, the National Legal Officer of the Labour Party, Kainde Edon, said Obi would be declared the winner. According to Kenneth Edo, Kainde, okay, Kainde, the party has presented his case before the court. 
adding that they are expecting victory because that is what justice demands. He added that the, there would be jubilation everywhere in the country after the court ruling. Kainde said, we are expecting victory because that is what justice demands. That is what Nigerians want. We will not lose hope. We have presented our case before the courts. We are confident of victory for the Labour Party and Nigerians. We know that there will be jubilation everywhere in Nigeria. Okay, he said something here. He said, we are expecting victory because that is what justice demands. Now the question, that is what justice demands, right? What is the court demand? Because you see, it's like Nigerian courts here somewhere, justice is elsewhere. You understand? I continue to say this, and we, I will keep on saying it. If anybody is expecting something different from the presidential election, pres uh, uh, petition, tribunal, or whatever, you just have to go and drink cold water and relax before you go come carry a heart attack. Join the hard economy when we they face. Just, just remove your mind for this. Nothing is going to change. Nothing is changing. And only when Nigerians will start expecting justice is when the judiciary is independent. Is when the electoral body is independent. As far as we are still here and all these things are happening, forget about justice. So wait. Please pardon me. Anybody who is talking about justice, just calm down. As far as this country is concerned, this cabal, justice is not close to Nigeria anywhere. Well, guys, you've all heard it now. Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.